kick. Man. Once again, we're a little bit behind the scenes, you know. But I'm just creating these videos, you know, while we're, wow, these videos. So these videos can go up once I start live streaming again. But I want to say this. You know, one of the reasons I don't, I want to say two reasons I don't post my, uh, I want to say two reasons I don't post my my workout videos to Instagram or live stream them anymore. And it's something that bothers me, always going to bother me. And it's something I'm going to have to get over, but it is kind of annoying. So first thing, it's going to bother me this way over there. One thing that bothers me, hello, one thing that bothers me is that ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. It's weird. One thing that bothers me is that when I hear a fat guy, it seems like um, every time I go to the gym, even though I've been working out for years, um, it seems like because I'm fat that people don't assume that I know what I'm doing. That's really annoying. Um, it always has been. Yeah, no, I made a post I, I saw on Facebook the other day that talked about it was talking about like, man, I hate being a fat guy walking into the gym because everybody assumes that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like, dude, just because I'm not in shape doesn't mean I don't know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I just don't know how to eat right. But I mean, if you just see my lifts and I'm not bragging, but if you see my lifts, if I really went in there and just went for all out shrink, I'm sure I could outlift the majority of the people in there. If not all of them, I just know how strong I am. You know, and that's on anything. That's on the squat. That's from the bench. That's the shoulder presses. That's almost anything. I think the only thing I can really be beat on pretty easily is probably lat pull downs. I just don't have a strong back, and that's something I want to work on too. But lat pull down is probably my weakest movement. But on everything else, I can hold my own easily. But it's so annoying. And that's another reason I don't post on Instagram as much. Um, because when I'm working out, and I want to just show you guys that I'm working out, I get all the comments and everything about, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this. And it's just kind of like annoying. <laughs> That's just the honest truth, you know. Um, I don't mind it when I'm live streaming and stuff like this, but it's annoying. It's more annoying when you're trying to just work out. I'm just trying to show you guys the progress. But I just got to the point where I just I work out into silence, man. I work out by myself. Um, and I just don't post them. I, I am keeping a log. I have a bunch of photos and a bunch of videos on my phone that I'm going to upload one day into it like a, maybe a weight loss documentary or transformation so you can still see the journey. And I probably won't maybe upload them, I'll upload them as I lose weight, you know? So let's say I lose 30 pounds, right? I'll upload the first 10 videos of the first 30 pounds lost. But by the time I upload that, I wanna have already lost another 30 pounds. So if I have lost 60 pounds, you'll see the first 30 pounds get lost. And then once I lose 90 pounds, you'll see a 60 pounds. And so on and so forth. And so that way, by the, sorry, by the time you guys see the video, and I know the comments are going to come, be like, well, you need to do this to do that. Be like, hey, I've already lost another 30 pounds. You just haven't seen it yet. You know, I've already, or I've already reached my weight loss goal. You just haven't seen it yet. Maybe because you don't watch my live streams or whatnot. And that way I don't have to worry about hearing all these different opinions. You know, at that thing of the day is like, I, I, whatever you're saying, majority of people are fat. So I know majority of people who are sorry saying something to me are fat. So I'd rather just do my own thing. And I kind of, that's kind of just what I've been pushing towards. So this is just me just kind of explaining why you guys don't see me uploading on my Instagram or anything. I'm just going to wait until the weight loss has started and I've actually started to make some progress. And I'll tell you though, um, if you're watching this, uh, you're watching this a little early, but I will say this. I think I, think I, think I done working out. <laughs> I just got done working out, took a shower, so I'm a little tired, but I want to say this. It is frustrating. It is frustrating. Um, when I even, for just my personal life, working out, you kind of when you kind of hit your breaking point, you know, because you, you're like, man, I'm doing everything right. I'm eating less. I'm doing everything, and it feels like the weight's just not coming down. Um, I was actually watching a video by Chris uh, Guzman. I think it's his name, and he was saying the same stuff. Like he's been doing his workouts, he's been doing what he's supposed to, but it seems like the weight just won't go down. Now he's clearly far ahead of me. <laughs> He's a, he's a competitor. He's an actual bodybuilder. But that's where I'm at. I feel like I can't get 
where I'm trying to get to. Um, and it's just frustrating because like, listen, I know I'm not, I, I, I'm not eating optimal um, because to eat is optimal. I want, it takes a lot of grocery shopping and I haven't been. So this last week hasn't been the best, but the weeks before that and everything, I was eating pretty good. And I've been eating pretty good for the last few months, honestly. Um, a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruit. Um, been staying away. I don't eat fast food anyway, but I've been staying away from that kind of food. I'm not too deep into the processed food. I'm giving up processed chips and stuff like that. You know, I used to eat a lot of potato chips for you guys who don't know. But I'm giving that up. <sighs> so I'm sorry, Gail. I'm giving up the processed chips. Um, um, I don't cut out carbs. I know carbs can be used for you. I just cut out the bad carbs. You know, I still want to eat pasta and stuff like that. Um, but I'm trying to work my way to make sure I'm right, eating the right kind of carbs. I've cut back my calories quite a bit. Um, I was eating. I was eating from 12 to 6 o'clock um, intermittent fasting kind of. But now I'm only eating like. 12 i'm going i'm i'm fasting let's see today i fasted i think i fasted let's see hold on no. six hold on i gotta add it real quick uh, da, da. 12 six plus 12 yeah and then one two three i fasted 23 hours today I didn't, I didn't eat, I only ate from 3 to 5 today. Just, man, I'm so tired, man. But I ate from 3 to 5. So it's just a matter of one thing you got to know with the scale, when it comes to the scale. And that's why it's important to take pictures. And I've been taking pictures. I've been, um, um, so I can look back on them. It's important to look at pictures and see. Because honestly, sometimes the scale is not lying to you. But you may have lost some inches, but you didn't lose any weight. Or you're just holding on to more water. This is the variables, right? Eventually, that scale doesn't need to go down. There's no way you're going to be able to say, I'm in the best shape of my life. And you weigh more than ever. You know, <laughs> I can't say that I'm in the best shape of my life if I don't weigh 250 like I, I, my goal is, right? If I never get down to 250, then I failed. You know, at the same time. But at the same time, in between that, you know, from maybe month to month, there may be a time where I only lose 5 to 10 pounds. But... I, lost, I, I maybe have lost a little bit more fat percentage points, maybe 1%, maybe 2% fat, maybe nothing too crazy, something like that. But if you, I can look back on my pictures and be like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm not lying to myself. I clearly look bigger in this picture. And I look back on my pictures and I can see sometimes when I'm looking at myself, I can be like, oh, okay, I look a little bit fatter in the face here. I look a bit bigger in the belly here. Oh, you can see that I got this, you know, and I could tell when I eat, <laughs> My belly looks much fuller, much uh, more bloated. Um, and that's something I also have gotten used to. Um, something I want to make sure I pay attention to. I know if I eat a lot of fruit and I eat some pasta, my belly's going to look bigger. You know, I am fat, so there's no getting over that. But I'm talking about this looks fuller than usual. So make sure you take pictures and do all that kind of stuff. And it's a hard road, man. And this is, who knows? You know, I'm making, I'm making this videos in real time. Um, but... Who knows, man? We may look back a year and a half from now, and you get I've lost I've lost the last hundred pounds, and I'm looking good. And you know I'll be able to look back on these videos and be like, wow, you know, even though it came slow and it took me two three years to finally get it done, I got it done. And we don't have to look back on this. We can move on to a new phase of life because once again, I don't believe one thing that is driving me is seeing all the fat people around me. You know, now at the gym, obviously I don't see as many fat people, but I don't see anybody I'm impressed with, but being fat every time, being fat and looking around and seeing other fat people, it does eventually make you look. I know I'll be average when it comes to making money. I know I'll probably be average when it comes to being a YouTuber. I'll be average when it comes to live streaming. But one thing I can be above average in, and that's one thing I can absolutely control, is my body weight. That's the one thing in my life. Because all the other stuff may come with luck or people just don't want to hear me or talk. Okay. But one thing I control that nobody can control with me is my body. And if I can get my body to look above average, which is just not pretty much not overweight, that's an accomplishment to me. It'll be the one thing I can be like, well, here's something I can teach on because I know a lot of people don't know it. And that kind of drives me. And I've been working on the content I consume. Instead of spending a lot of my time just watching stupid content, I, 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 watch, I, I use my time to watch content on lifting, 
um, content on uh, what what people eat, what people do, how people train, um, focusing on my muscle connection, just focusing on learning the muscles, um, learning my splits and stuff like that, how I want to work out, if I want to do high volume or I want to go like Serge, Lu Serge Nubray and just get in there, get in, do as little as less, do little, as little resting as possible. And that's actually kind of what I like. Um, I tried it today. Normally when I work out, I don't rest that much anyway. I, I'm in there. I'm, I'm in and out. It don't take me but 20 to 30 minutes to get a full workout in. Um, some people, they get in there because I don't ego lift, you know, um, and I don't lift that heavy, you know. And so my sets are pretty quick. I'm not in there struggling and killing myself just to look big in the gym, right? I get in there. I don't care what weight. There's been times I went in the gym and I did just the bar on the bench. I did just the bar on squats. I don't care. My main focus is the movement, filling those muscles, and then I'll add weight when I, as necessary. But I don't care about looking big. I don't care about looking strong. My focus is just focusing on my muscles, making sure I'm getting good reps in. It's the same thing with boxing. You know, when I box, you got to focus on every punch because when you start getting lazy on your punches or you're just focusing on power, you're going to hurt yourself. You know, you are. Because when you're not focusing and being technical with your punches, you're going to mess up your wrists, you're going to slip and miss, or you're going to mess up your elbows, or you mess up your shoulder, just not focusing on the hit. you got to be technical. So when I'm working out, I do the same thing. I don't care about how strong I look. All I care about is can I feel it, and am I getting fatigued? If I am, then I'm succeeding, right? I'm pushing my muscles to that brink, not to failure, but I mean pushing it to where it, it's feeling it. And I keep doing that day in and day out. And so anyway, guys, I just pretty much rambled. But my, my point is, is that's why I'm putting videos up on Instagram. I'm just kind of focusing on this for myself. I will start doing it again eventually, but it'll be after I've lost enough weight for me to notice a difference to myself. Once I notice a difference in my stomach and I notice a difference in my arms and my chest, my legs, once I start noticing a difference myself, then yes. Or I see a certain number on the scale, right? If I Once I get the 50 pounds loss, then like I said, I'll start putting up videos showing you up to the 30 pounds. Or 60 pounds. But once I lose about 60 pounds, I will start putting up videos on my Instagram. Um, but you guys who watch my videos and my YouTube videos and my live streams will obviously see this first. But but you won't be able to see my body because I'm going to wear a shirt on streams. But if you want to see me, you know, shirtless and stuff like that, I'll be putting that on my Instagram once I've lost enough weight to where I feel like uh, I can do that. So that's it. Love y'all. Peace.